Armando Breuer has been pitted back in first-team training today. The unknown striker from Chelsea had been injured in the Euros in the summer. Uh, Everton signed them late on deadline day, knowing that he was injured, but obviously with a timescale to get back. It'll be a welcome boost to have him back in the squad. It'll give Sean Dyke more options in the final third. Uh, the 23-year-old who scored 23 goals and 121 career appearances. Everton do have an option on him uh, to take up at the end of the season, should Bruyette do well. Uh, but it is a boost, like I say, seeing him back in. Obviously, Sean Dyke will want as many options in that final third as possible. Dominic Calvert-Lewin, not scoring enough at the moment. Obviously, Beto is getting the odd chance here and there. I think Broy is a different type of striker to both of them. And obviously, if he can get in and get settled as well in the side, then he gives Dyke a different a different option, a different way of playing, maybe. Uh, Everton needs to try something different, and Broyer may really help with that. Uh, I'm just putting this link in because I've seen it and I like it. So it's going in. Everton are today being linked with a move for Lille striker Jonathan David. All right, stop laughing. The link is real. Uh, he played in the Champions League for Lille. He's had a great season so far. He's got 13 goals in 18 games for the French side this season. He is thought to be very keen on a move to the Premier League. Obviously, could Everton get him? Don't know. Don't know how much he'd want. We'd have to be better than we are right now. He scored 97 goals in 201 games for uh, Neil. So, listen, that's the kind of links we want to see with players. Um, doesn't matter whether there's a chance of them happening or not. It's in the news and I'm reporting it. Uh, West Ham forward Mohamed Kudus has had a further two games added to his ban. He was sent off for trying to fight everyone in the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium the other week during West Ham's 4-1 defeat by Spurs. He got an initial three-game ban. He's been given an extra two games and fined £60,000. He will, of course, mean uh, miss Everton's trip to the London Stadium at the weekend. And finally, Everton under-21s are in action on Friday night. They play Cardiff City in the Premier League Cup. You can go and watch it. It's at the Walton Hall Park Stadium. The kickoff is 7pm. So if you want to watch a bit of Everton under-21 action, get yourself down there and take that in. That is it for the News Daily. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Thanks for watching. See you later.